like destroyer with three heads, capable of three times its destruction, becomes the largest super species the world has ever seen. As you fly into battle as the living lightning storm to decide once and for all who is the king of the monsters. Oh hey, I just noticed that Ghidorah's heads are right there. You see one, and you see two, and you see three. And a little bit of that's all right there. Um, but yeah, so here is Ghidorah and the promotional images, which he literally looks like a piece of solid gold that's been weathered out. And you get the figure, it looks so big, not this shiny. <laughs> but yeah, so let's get to the figure. So here is King Ghidorah in his, all his glory in plastic form in the new movie. And as you can tell, his face and wings are not accurate. But here's a fun fact. So I don't know if it was Legendary Toho or Mike Daughtery or somebody was like, oh, we don't like the, some aspects of the design. So they took off these little fingers and they took off the mane. Which personally, in my opinion, is pretty cool having a conceptual art figure. Like, I don't know, I think I think that's really pretty cool. So like maybe, you know, next year or, I don't know, Jax can release a more accurate version. Or unless <coughs> NECA <coughs> wants to make one. You know, you got an accurate one there. But if you want a really accurate one, SH Monster is the way to go. And I'm honestly considering that because this King Ghidorah design, I freaking love it. And that Ghidorah is just massive. Like, <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's a, you can get it at GameStop for $190 and in person, so it's like, I'm tempted, you know, I just gotta get save me some more money, and hopefully find me a job, a, a stable job soon. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, <clears throat> um, so yeah, this is based on the concept art, which, they pretty much only change the wings and the head, everything else in my opinion looks the exact same as we do, as we see in the trailers and everything else, and... One thing I don't like about the figure, actually there's two things I don't like about the figure. Um, one being the lack of so much paint. Like, this is really bad. Like, I'm gonna do some touch-ups on this guy, believe me. I'm just debating whether or not to do... Okay, so the plan I have is either to do some washes on him. Or to completely paint them all black and then do some gold coats, but in my opinion, there's not enough detail for me to do that, except for maybe the tail and the feet and the faces. But everything else is like, mm, I don't know. Like I, I am gonna paint him because, but uh, I don't know. But if you see, if you've seen other reviews of this guy already, like from, who, 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 there's some other, I don't remember their names right now, but they got like a PR. I don't know how to other words to use, but they got like a PR package of the, the Godzilla line. And first of all, they come with two sets of buildings and two sets of planes. And one thing that they also have is painted mouths and teeth. And I was like, why didn't those go to the regular public? You know, just because we don't have a lot of subscribers or anything? Like, okay, you know, that's completely fair. <laughs> nah. But okay, anyways, enough of me ranting. This is a really good figure for $15. It's really, really good. The one thing, like I said, besides the paint job, is that the wings, I'm honestly surprised that they're standing up right now. Like, they're actually in place. They're not drooping or anything, which I'm like, why can't you be like that when I have you displayed on my shelf? But, yeah, the wings, I really like the wings because they're so freaking massive. Like, that's really huge. Like, not even the movie Monster series, Ghidorah, that comes out later this month, has wings this big. It's proportionate to its body, but it's not big as this guy's wings. And the wings have like surprisingly nice detail compared to the rest of the body. Um, but yeah, and then you got let's focus in. Let's see. Like there's certain certain details about the body that I'm just like, mm. like right there. It's like very very subtle in details, very subtle. And then when you get to the feet and the legs, it's pretty prominent. And then tail too. Oh, it's not that. I hit my back. The back, in my opinion, has the best detail. If it wants to focus in. But, I mean, like I said, this, this does not give me enough reason to do a whole black paint base coat for this guy because there's not enough detail if I did a dry brushing afterwards. But, this guy has a 9 point articulation. You got one at this neck, one at this neck, and one at halfway this neck. But, if you're one of those people who like spoilers, I'm not going to say anything, but there's a reason why this head probably has this articulation joint right here instead of right there. 
Oh, that felt... Eh, whatever. And then you got the tail articulate. And if you don't put them in the right way, it's going to be a little pain in the ass to put inside. So, just for heads up, if you do get this figure, to put them in the right way, the tails will be pointing opposite from each other. Because if you have them, like, pinched up together, you have them in the wrong way. Because you could also, like, also line them up right there, too. So you know which which side is better to put them in. And then you got the legs that rotate. And then you got the wings that flap up and down. They look pretty good if you have them up. And then if they want to stay, they, they'll, if they want to stay up, they'll stay up. See, you see that? It droops. There is this little stability port. I don't, I don't know. But you guys can see that, and it's supposed to be right there, so the wing can stay sturdy. But the fact that the wing, the upper wing, is kind of like a... It's like a really hard, hard, sturdy rubber. It's heavy. So if it was like a lightweight plastic, it'd probably be more prone prone to breaking. So I, I kind of do agree with that. Um, going with this type of material for the wings. But at least this guy stands, you know? The little one, he only stands if you have the wings folded up or if you have his tails squished by something heavy so you can stand up but yeah this guy's really good for 15 bucks and he has, comes with accessories so let's go to the accessories so if this is his building accessory i really really do dig it like the design aesthetic and the color goes with this building like if they would have like the ones that came with the other pr packages they were red and orange and i was like Ooh, this building does not accommodate with that color that well but this green i don't know I don't know why, but I'm just like really drawn to this building just because of the color. And I do like the fact that it's like popping out. It's not just like one solid piece. But I mean, it kind of sucks that the backside's hollow. But this piece, it breaks into three pieces. You got one, and you got two. Kind of wish it broke into four pieces because I'm just saying, a building, a real building, you know, if it was supposed to like explode or get hit by monsters. This whole top piece wouldn't come off. I'd probably, you know. But oh, whatever. Let's, let's, stop, let's stop talking about whatever. Let's discuss this stop moving. And then you got the little Argo jet, which, I'm um, be honest with you, it's so, so cheap. Like, it's really nicely detailed, but it's like, you can like literally bend it. It's like really, 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 really cheap rubber, in my opinion. And I'm gonna compare it to Ben Decorations one, but. That one at least is it's sturdy. You can't like move it this much. It's not, uh, but it's really nicely molded. Like you can't deny that it's really nicely molded. The Argo jet. It's badass. Reminds me of the IDW Megatron. It's really really cool. And then just so you can see them how they look like together. That's that. Here is. Oh no, I don't want this backdrop falling on again. No, 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 no. But this is how it looks like next to the building. So you can, like, you know. <laughs> there you go. Oh, I just. Okay. Okay. Okay, Ghidorah needs a break. But oh yeah, also, Ghidorah looks pretty, like, in my opinion, when he's, his wings are down. He kind of looks, like, imposing in the sense, like. Oh, let's put this up a little bit. He looks like. It makes him look more massive, you know? I don't know if you, if you get what I'm trying to say, but the way his wings are like this, he looks more massive. I don't know, it just looks pretty cool. Ancient Alpha Predator. Yeah. So for size comparison, let's go grab the NECA. I'll be right back. So keep in mind, I did custom paint my NECA Godzilla, but this is how he sides up. You know, at least they're looking eye to eye, but then again, the Jack spline is not supposed to be in scale with anything but its own line, so... Mm. Like... Mm, you got some Bandai Moon Monster series that kind of are the same way, like, Godzilla's eye to eye, not even like... Boom. If it was like this, I, I, mm, I wouldn't mind. But, most people are gonna get this guy. But then you also have the Moon Monster series option too, and I Smash Arts. But people are probably gonna, get, probably gonna get this right now as a placeholder, so... Mm, yeah. Make that make one. And then here you got the small three inch 
Let's move the building out of the way. This is a small 3 inch Godzilla. In my opinion, this would be like, this isn't accurate, but this would be so freaking awesome if this was the actual like size comparison, like the actual sizing in the movie. Like, holy shit, that'd be so freaking awesome. Like, Ghidorah's like, Ghidorah towering him. Be towering him a lot. I think Godzilla's probably like about maybe like that, maybe like that big. But I, I would, I would not mind if. Godzilla was a small compared to Ghidorah. I would definitely not mind. Ghidorah is just a badass. And then here's one more, another one. The Bene Creations. Yeah, you can, you can see that he's really, really small. But like I said, he's only supposed to scale with the six-inch jack sword hand. And then here is the smaller version. Okay, you can't even see what I mean. He kind of stands. When his wings are up, we're going to put one of them. One of them. He just falls. But I don't think they're the same mold. Like obviously, like there's different molding choices, like the wings, first of all. But like, even like the bases, like the details are like way different on the back. And like the faces are like way more better on the bigger one. Uh, excuse me. Not sorry. Um But yeah. This figure. You can get it at Walmart for $15. If they're not at your Walmart yet, you can ask, but don't verbally harass a Walmart employee if they're like, oh, we don't have them yet. Don't do not do that, because don't. And there is, they're supposed to be out by April 1st, but some Walmarts won't officially have them until May, which sucks, because it's like they have a street date release of April 1st, but they will for sure be in all Walmarts in the United States by the end of May. Which sucks for those Walmarts and people who want to go find these figures and not buy them on eBay from scalpers who are charging literally like over $45 for this figure or the, and the other ones too. So, if, um, yeah. Uh, I recommend this figure? Yeah, it's freaking badass. His wings are super massive. Yeah, there's some problems with it, but it's only $15. This is cheaper than a NECA Godzilla figure, price wise. You know, you're not going to get that much articulation, but he's like a really cool placeholder for a Ghidorah for now until, unless you want to buy another one, or you're just like, or if you're one of those people that wants to collect everything like me, then this is good. This is really good. You can find him at Walmart, you get him for $15, and it comes with a cool building accessory, you know? Buildings is what, we just, in like in general, we just need building accessories in general for people who don't want to build them, or people who just don't, can't, or don't want to. You know, these buildings are really good. Because they're awesome placeholders, you know? Yeah, so these kind of reviews, in my opinion, they're fun to make because I, like, I, I really don't do, I guess you can say, live reviews. Like, my general opinion is just in there. But let me know if you guys like this or if you guys want me to go revert back into my photos and, like, more detailed reviews. I don't know. Like, do you guys like this version of my reviews better or do you guys like the older versions? Please let me know in the comments section below. And please like and subscribe and let me know if you guys like this figure. And if you like the review, if not, I'll go back to my old ways. Um, but yeah, so let me know if you're going to get this figure and if you think it's cool or if you think it's crappy, you know. Let me hear your opinions. I'm honestly interested. So yeah, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Thanks, guys. And just one more thing to mention. When when else are you going to see Godzilla figures in the United States at local retail at such a good price? That's one thing I forgot to say. When you're going to find Godzilla figures like this anymore. They're only re-popping re up everywhere because the movies are coming out. But besides that, when do you see Godzilla figures on sale at local stores? You know, that's just something to think about. Okay, bye. Like, subscribe, comment. Bye.